Hey guys, hope you guys are all doing great. Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. And today, guys, we are going to be talking about all the content that is coming in 2022, potentially. And these are coming from leaks and rumors. And keep everything with a grain of salt going into today's video. Now, this is all the content that I've spoken about last year, but it could be announced this year some of this content is announced and will be released this year for sure but we're going to be talking about some stuff that hasn't been announced without further ado guys let's just get right into it so this is all the content that's coming in for Re for resident evil in 2022 the first thing is re verse now i haven't really spoken too much about resident evil reverse because frankly it's been delayed more times than a lot uh it was delayed at the initial release and then it was also delayed the second time and it was also delayed a third time we were supposed to get it last summer but we didn't end up getting it and it was pushed back now my guess is that pretty much they need more development time on it now automatically it will come with uh, resident evil village if you had resident evil village already like if you bought it you will get resident evil reverse automatically for free uh it and it, the game mode is basically you're testing your skills against four to six players in survival horror matches play as beloved characters through the franchise and play as bio a bioweapon in the five minute death matches now that's pretty much all i want to talk about on resident evil reverse it should be coming out in 2022 this year now we don't know when but my get my best guess is it's gonna be coming in the first half of 2022 i think it's had a lot of development time and i'm pretty sure capcom is pretty much almost done with this i don't think they really need much more time uh the next thing we're gonna be talking about is re village dlc now resident evil village still has not gotten its first dlc which is pretty crazy to me the fact that resident evil 7 got dlc faster than this game which was insane i've already spoken on this but this is just a thought that i feel like they should add they should add the um, pretty much the story uh tapes the video tapes how they did that in resident evil 7 i thought that was fantastic if they need to add a season pass i mean i don't mind personally i would be able to support the game but it, it doesn't really make sense like how why is it taking so long for some dlc to come out for resident evil village i don't know if it's due to you know the world pandemic or they just need more development time because i do understand as a as a gaming company they do need time to make the best quality content for their fan base but i mean resident evil village dlc didn't even start till i want to say the 2021 game award no no it wasn't the game awards it was e3 of 2021 they did barely announced it that they were barely getting started with the dlc which is which isn't bad you know by all means it's not bad but it's not good either you know uh but they did announce that they are starting on it my guess is we're probably not going to get it till maybe the later half of 2022 because it is set to be free and it is supposed to be good i'm, I'm really hoping man i'm really really hoping here now this one i really want to put with a grain of salt when i say all this stuff uh resident evil outrage or revelations 3 now i've spoken about this it's basically uh the nintendo switch exclusive but at this point it's probably canceled guys and a lot of rumors and leaks suggest this because a lot of people have come out and said that it is and these are reliable sources saying that the game has been scrapped but that there it has been in development for a long time now if it's been scrapped i mean we probably would have heard from a couple more sources that's why i'm kind of holding hope out but basically you would have played as a sherry not sherry breaking uh you would have been playing as rebecca chambers uh the last the protagonist uh one of the protagonists of resident evil zero we haven't seen her since what resident evil 5 but in the mercenaries game mode so it's been quite a while right and uh, it's supposed to be taking place on a college campus it was like uh it, it uh, one of the levels got leaked it was like on a college campus as, as i mentioned now this is going to be the last one now resident evil 4 remake now i'm not saying that it's not going to come out this year but i'm definitely going to say that it's going to get announced this year there's no way in hell that resident evil 4 remake is not getting announced this year i'm holding out hope because man we really need the resident evil 4 remake it's been so long time but the only issues that i'm i have is our not issues in this case but i have a couple concerns and that is that leon's gonna have a beard that uh heard um what do you call it chris's sister's gonna be in there um another thing is 
it's it's there's a lot of unnecessary changes i don't want to spoil anything because i've already made videos on this and i'm not saying go watch my videos just to know but i don't want to spoil anything because if these uh, leaks and rumors do end up become true i don't want to be the guy who said oh i told you so but yeah i mean it's i just have a lot of concerns for this game because it, it's i don't know it's just it, it, a lot of the rumors suggest that it was trying to tie in with resident evil 8 and that it's trying to tie in the other resident evil games i mean i don't know what to say about all that but yeah man i mean that's gonna have to pretty much wrap up today's video i hope you guys definitely did enjoy though and i will catch you guys in the next video